So in this video I'll just be doing an example um, using the method of joints approach. So the question is determine the forces acting on each pin joint. So that's that's um, A, B, C, D and E. Um, and so we're going to do it by splitting it off into each, each individual joints and seeing the, the forces that act. <coughs> so we have um, a, a structure like this, pin joint here, roller joint here and um, just 20 kilonewtons of external force acting at C. So first thing, like with every question, we want to do a free body diagram. So that would look like... Oh, sorry, I'll just put that along there. So that would look like... So I'm just labeling the forces there. I'll just put in the letters again. Okay. So we have that. So we're also given that these are all 45 degrees. 45. Okay. Okay, so we want to find out all the forces in, on each joints. So first off, we could do global equilibriums. So first off, let's find AX by doing the moment about uh, this D point. So uh, D equals zero. So let's say that this is this is one meter, one meter, one meter, that kind of thing. you be given this in the question, obviously. So they're all one meter. So then we have this force is creating a positive moment. So F A X uh, times one meter minus twenty times, and that's acting two meters away from it. Two meters equals zero. Uh, F A X equals 40 kilonewtons. So now let's just do some of the moments in the x direction. No, sorry, the forces in the x direction equals zero. That's positive. We get that F A X um, plus F D X equals zero. F D X equals uh, negative F A X which equals negative 40 kilonewtons. So that means that it's in the opposite direction uh, from what we've got here. So it's it's going to the left. So now we want to get um, what F D Y is so we can do uh, some of the forces in the y direction. We'll do positive is up. So F y equals zero. So you can see. Let's fold this so you can see the diagram. So you can see that um, the forces acting in the y direction are just F d, and that's twenty. So we have F d y minus 20 equals 0 FDY equals 20 kilonewtons. Okay, so now we've got all our forces. So we can just redraw this out again. This one's going away, and that's uh, negative 40. This is positive 40. 
and this acting up is 20. These are all killing units here. <coughs> so D, E, C, B, A. Okay, so now, now we'll move on to the method of joints. So first up we have C I'm going to do. So we have C here. We have this F, E, C, F, um, B, C, <coughs> and uh, 20 kilonewtons. So that's 45 degrees. So we can see that if we sum the forces in the y direction equals zero, upwards is positive, um, we get um, sine 45 times FEC. So this is taking the y component of FEC. Um, minus 20 kilonewtons equals zero. FEC equals 20 on sine 45. Kilonewtons. Okay, and then um, so now we've got that. We can work out this in the x direction. So we just do as right being positive. F x equals zero. So we have um, negative F B C um, minus, and then we have to take the x component of this. So that's um, cos 45 FEC, you can see that, um, equals 0, FBC equals negative cos 45 FEC, and which equals uh, negative cos 45 um, times 20 on sine 45. 